just bumped the table. <laughs> That's my bad. That's my bad. Welcome, guys. So, today I am going to be reviewing the Shaman King anime. And um, no, I have not seen the original for anyone who's going to ask. So, this is literally just judging this anime on for what it's got. No previous expectations, no previous knowledge, just judging it for what I saw, okay? Just fair warning. And also, no spoilers for anyone who didn't catch the title. So, this one is really not bad for Netflix, okay? I feel like they took home a little bit of a win-ish for this one with me at least, because it's like, it's not bad. What is this anime about? It's effectively about this kid, Shaman, who is trying to become the Shaman King, and he has to go through this tournament, okay? So you've got your standard anime tropes with, you know, the training montage, the I'm not good enough for this, you know, it's got the standard anime tropes in there. It's, it's very average, it's very predictable, okay? You know what's gonna happen before you even see it unfold a little bit. You really do. It does... One thing I did like, though, it did get into the tournament very fast. It didn't waste a whole lot of time on, oh, we're going to do this and that and the other, and then we'll get to this. No, it kind of went into the tournament pretty nice and quick, which was good. It has some, it did a solid job of introducing characters and other stuff. It's a pretty standard anime trope, pretty easy to do. Wasn't very hard, not a huge amount of working parts, so they did a pretty good job on all of that in giving each of the characters a little bit of backstory, at least. The one thing that bothered me is that with the animation. There are some really odd proportions done. There are hands that are giant when they're right on top of the person's own head. It's There are some moments of animation that are... How long have you been doing this? Can I see your resume? No. <laughs> like, did you not notice that was completely botched? But especially when it comes to, then there was one character where I just like, I didn't like the way that they were drawn. It was just weird to me the entire time and it's this really short guy. Yeah, no, he's weird. I don't like the way they proportioned him next to everyone else. Also, they kind of made people's heads bigger than they ought to be, which is a little bit awkward, but it's, I was just like, at least they did it for everyone, at least for the main characters, at least. at least they did it for all of them, and it wasn't just one person with a weirdly proportioned head, so I kind of just took it as, this is the style we're going with, but there are some unforgivable things that you might catch in the animation itself. The fights are all right. Everything's just kind of all right. It's a very average, predictable anime, which hilariously doesn't leave me with all that much to talk about. So I'm actually kind of already done. It's pretty average. It's pretty basic. If you're looking for a nice tournament style anime, it's a solid one. It's average. It's there. You might, in, you'll probably enjoy parts of it and probably be weirded out by some of the animation. I hope it's not just me, but yeah, there you go. It's average. So, yeah, it's average. Until next time, guys, I'll, yeah, hopefully find something with a little bit more stuff there to talk about, because this one was just basic and average.